G'day guys, Ivan here from Peak Off Road, Wetherill Park, Sydney, Australia. And today what we've got here is a 2015 Amrock, the first one in the country with the Alucab Canopy Camper. This is a dual cab version, and so what we're going to do is going to show you how this fitted up onto an Amrock. And uh, as we said in the videos previously, um, this is a real game changer. This is a, this is a touring setup. The gentleman, and thank you Mark for this. Um, the gentleman who has do, is going to be using this one is actually going to use it for work. So he's travelling around remote Australia, inspecting things, and uh, he needs to have something as a tourer, not something that goes up and down goat hills, uh, goat tracks. So what we're going to do is, like always, we're going to open up the awning to show you how that works, because not everyone sees um, uh, these all the time. So we'll open up the owner, close the awning so it's better for lighting and then we'll go in and have a look at how this fits and how much room and pretty excited. So let's go do it. Yeah I promised you uh, to do the awning but now, now thinking about it, it's probably going to be a little bit easier just to open that up and get that out of the way. It's a gas, gas assist uh, door and uh, it's a matter of just putting these two uh, Latches up. Come on, off you go. You grab the bungee cord. Bungee cord goes down. Inside, either in there or uh, somewhere internally. You basically just uh, put these in. So you can do it both ways. Again, be nice to have a little step we have a step that goes on the uh, Land Rovers that really does a good job. So the other way is put it in here first and just rock it in. So that gives you two ways of actually physically putting it together. So now I did promise you open the awning, I will open and close it. It's a pretty simple process. Three straps, Velcros. It drops down here like this all the time. You bring the three arms out, you stop, you walk over to here, grab the small arm, and just go around. And the stay. Uh, that is the shadow warning. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, open and close. There is a leg here, as always, there is a video on the shadow awning, how to fit it and bits and pieces that way. So what we'll do now is we'll just close that straight back up. So it's basically reverse, knock the arm over, undo the uh, strap, bring it round, very simple, just grab your cover, flick it over the top. Now you have three Velcros, one here, another one about here, and the third one is over here. You ready to do it up now? Sorry I've put my camera to the back, but it's very difficult to do it any different way. So once you get it to the middle, grab your first one, just rock that in, and then next one, and the last one, just make sure that's all the way in. This, put it on behind the strap, very simple. Alright, so that's done. That's pretty standardised, so everyone gets to see how the uh, shadow warning works. What we're going to do now is get to the exciting bit, which is actually the AMROC. So that's what you're here for. Let's get started. Right, as we said, the exciting part. So you saw the door open and close, but what we're going to do is just quickly show you. What we've got here is a container hinge. Um, this is all beautiful stainless steel. Um, basically, it's a lockdown me mechanism. And that's how you close it. Very simple. You can put a lock here and that will make your camper secured. 
All the canopy uh, doors have locks as well. So just for now, you can see, I'll open this up because we're going to need the light for the inside bit. Two spring clips, pretty easy. Now opening this up, oh sorry, I'll just continue on with the back door. The back door you can fit a 33 inch spare tyre on the back. So now this car has two spares. One that's existing underneath and the second one is the one we have here. 33 inch tyre, no need for an auxiliary bar or a dual wheel carrier on the back, which will save you a fair bit of money and also the weight. We'll get to the weight bit, you'll be very excited to buy that. So we'll open this up. As you see, it's gas strut assist. You can lock that away. I'll just open this other side up, which is the same, basically the same as the, uh, the side I just showed you on the, on the passenger side. Right, this is where the exciting part starts. We have all this room. Don't forget the mould plate, the locking mechanism, the 270 degree awning, all that is working really great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in, I'm going to show you how it opens up and then we're going to go through. Artie's going to grab the uh, handheld mic and show you what we actually do to fit it up. So let's get inside. Right, we're getting inside now. I am bending over to show you. So I'm 6'3", as you all know, I say it too often, probably got a little bit shorter as I get older. Anyway, so this is the room that you have. Got a good grab handle to get in. Um, you can put something on the tow bar like a little step instead of having a tow ball. Now, once you're in, you have a trap door. This trap door here, up it goes. So what that does is it gives you access. So when you build your build, you would have a, uh, a stepping mechanism which you would incorporate into a chair or a cupboard or something of that nature. So now I'm standing up and we're going to open up the bed. Now this will hold pillows, mattress, everything you need. And that just pops straight up. So now we're uh, right here at the back of the dual cab. I can't touch the top. It is a fantastic, fantastic place. I'm just going through it all. We've already said it once before with the, um, the Ford Ranger we did a review on first. Have a look at that one. That's a pretty nifty sort of thing. Now, with this one specifically for the guys with the Amrox. So what we got here is the actual box itself. The box is nice, uh, which is the doors and the uh, side entrance. So it's mounted onto the existing mounts down here. So Afadi, you just have a look down here. These, uh, <coughs> these canopies mounted to existing mounting points. So there's no real drilling of the mounting points themselves. So these are existing. They come onto a foot and then onto the canopy camper, which is then held with these bracings. So there's four of these, and I'll just show you on this side as well. This comes in on the inside part of the, of the uh, rear tub. So it's actually like a table sitting on your tub. This does not sit on this. It actually raised proud and then it's mounted onto here. So it's actually all the weight of the canopy camper is not sitting on the tub itself, but on the lateral supports internally. So that's fantastic. Um, you have this wiring, this is existing. Now we're not wiring this up. These are pretty cool. If you have a look, Artie, they're marked. So this gives you the wiring for, um, let's drop that down, wiring for the internal lights, which we have not wired on this one because the gentleman is going to wire it up himself. So you have existing lights. There's my light. There it is. You have uh, existing lights, USB chargers both sides, and also the internal lights everywhere, which go red, red, or uh, the standard uh, white light. So you've got plenty of choices there. I'm going to go round and round to the outside of it and show you how the mounting is because the, the Amrock is one of the widest cabs. They actually, uh, I think they say they can fit a pallet in between the two. Um, uh, wheel arches so this is big and I'll show you how the actually a tub is going out so I'll just jump out and uh, we'll get into that so you can see the tub is rounded and so the tub is actually square like it's actually properly square so if Artie follows my finger and you follow follow this finger you can see it gets wider and wider and wider and wider and so up here you've got an inserted piece in there so the actual canopy camper sits and seals off. Now going with door seals and all that nature, this is a fully sealed door. Now down the bottom through out here, which you can't see, but you have to have a look in person, come down to the shop, of course. Um, this is sealed off completely. So there's not gonna be any dust coming in from those rear tailgates. So when the tailgate opens, 
you notice there's no seal on any or all of the, uh, I don't know any at all um, dual cab or tub body that has a seal around the back door that is successful. So this negates that. Now I will go and talk about weight and uh, we'll start. Just give me a second, I'm gonna grab some paperwork. Rightio, I've got the paperwork, sorry about that. I'll get my short lookers on so I can actually see all this. Now these are, in Australia, we have uh, public way bridges where uh, the, the weights are legal in Australia for the RTA or the Road Traffic Authority. Um, so it's the same pretty much anywhere in the world. So I have two pieces of paper for you. We have the, uh, this one, the one on my left, <coughs> and Artie will put these up for you. So when this camper came to us, uh, what you actually had was the tailgate was already off and the neck spare wheel was in the back. So there was no tailgate, no uh, the extra spare wheel was in there. So we did the work, went down to the way, oh, went down the way bridge before we did the work. And so the front axle weight on this was 1.28 tonne. And the rear axle was 1.04. So one tonne and 40 kilos on the rear and one tonne, 280 kilos on the front. So then we put the canopy camper on, and this is pretty important because everything's about weight. So we put the canopy camper on, we remounted the spare wheel. So remember, this has two wheels, one underneath, which is the original one, and his beautiful little mag wheel. So now, here we go. Would you believe, and I will show you this to you, the front axle stayed the same. Remember, this is a legal way bridge, and we only did the work, drove it there, did the work, and drove it back. So fuel is negl negligible. No one was in the driver's car. So 1.28 tonne at the front, which was the same on the front axle, and on the rear axle is 1.28 tonne. So there you go, if you can focus on that. Right? Um, yeah, so these are the paperworks here. As you can see, they're very legal documentation. So now, what we're saying here is, overall, this has added 240 kilos to the overall rig. So this car actually weighs now 2.56 tonnes. So 240 kilos extra is not a great deal. And when you've got to consider, when you've got to consider that um, there are no ladders involved. So you're actually stepping up off inside and up in. What we're going to do now is um, in the breakdown, I'm going to close it all up and uh, show you the uh, last bit. And then we'll, Artie will just go around and show you some photos and stuff of the vehicle. So overall, this has been a great build. It is uh, a little bit of work to make everything happen, but it's well worth it, I can guarantee it. The price reflects uh, how, how good these are. These are not expensive. I'm not gonna say the price now because it may change over time, and this will be probably on for a year or two. So we'll close it all up and we'll get into that. It's uh, pretty, pretty simple. Oh, see, I nearly forgot to close the bed up. So you just pop inside. Bring the bed down, the trap door down, and uh, we'll just pop this up. It's always good to leave the windows uh, down when you're closing, so the bellows effect uh, doesn't blow out your canvas. And that's the same with all the tents. Come down the bottom, see the bellows? Give it a in and did I make sure I got it all out? Yep. So it's, it's not as difficult as uh, what you may think. And closing the door up is pretty straightforward. Right, that's closed up. Now there are a couple of things that I didn't tell you about as well. There is fly screens that go inside. They're an extra. There's a few extras to be had yet. On the AMROC, unfortunately, the table is not an option uh, to be put under where they normally are. But on the other side, you can actually add the uh, alley cab cube quite easily to the driver's side front. Really, um, that's really ends the video here. Uh, you can still lock this up from inside, so security is not a problem. They have actually internal locks, so you just lock this away in the open position and you can close the door. So in finishing, uh, again, I thank Mark very much for letting us the car. It has not been delivered yet, so there's a little bit of cleaning to be done and just some tidying up.
and uh, again it's a beautiful rig it looks great it looks fantastic from here sorry one more thing from here to the top i did on the previous video mention the wrong measurement it was 130 something it is actually 85 centimeters 850 mils from the top of the tub to the top of the of the canopy camper i hope you enjoyed this uh it's uh pretty exciting for us to have the first uh, vw in the country or the Amarok, and uh, have this canopy cab in this beautiful colour. The colour matching on this is fantastic. Enjoy your uh, holidays. Uh, Christmas is coming, and uh, we'll see you out there. See you guys. And you think this is Irish coffee, eh? Let's get the hell out of here, mate. It's been a long day.